Well, hey, everybody. It come if I egg. Just doing a video to show off the pickups that I got from the card show, what, about a week and a half ago? It's, it's the middle towards the end of October 2020, quarantine year. Sitting here having a card show. Yes, prices of cards are skyrocketing, but as you might find, those skyrocketed prices don't always make it to the card shows. You have a bunch of motivated sellers, guys who want to move inventory. There's uh, no taxes and fees and, and, and PayPal charges and things like that. And uh, the deals are to be had. I've made a lot of videos like this showing off hauls from card shows but even in this time when prices are sky high, I think I found better deals than ever before. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Joe and any insomniacs that might be watching. Basically, I made two purchases at the card show. I bought two BGS slabs from one dealer and kind of raided a dollar box from another dealer. Uh, got out at under $100, which you'll be shocked once you see the cards I got. The reason why I brought up the date is just for future reference, if you're looking back on this video, we're on, uh, tonight is game two of the World Series between the Dodgers and the Rays. Uh, and that's going to come in handy when you see the last card I picked up here. Uh, well, anyway, let's just jump right into it. Uh, a bunch of these dollar cards uh, bought in the dollar bin. And then when you buy a lot of them, uh, the dealer tends to uh, knock off some price for you. So believe it or not, now I'm going to get to those later. I'll get to these slabs here. Okay. This is a card out of my collection. It's a Shaquille O'Neal Gem Mint 10 Tops Gold. The gold gold writing on there. Okay. This card I can throw on eBay right now and get about two grand for. Check it. It was as high as 4,100 a, a month or so ago, but I really like this card and I want to keep it in my collection. So what did I do? I found a dealer who was selling these. Okay. I told you the 10 gold goes for about two grand. This in an eight goes for about $70. And here's that famous, what, draft uh, card of his from Upper Deck. Card number one in an 8.5. It's those old BGS slabs. I love BGS slabs. So yeah, this card would go on eBay for about 70 bucks. Matter of fact, the last one sold was exactly 70 bucks. I got the pair of these cards for 50 so for $50, I got to replace the gold rookie I want to keep, but still sell the 10 and his maybe most iconic card, the upper deck in an 8.5, very respectable grade. So I'll throw those out there. So yes, for $50, I got those two beautiful cards. I could flip them right now and make more money, but I don't want to. They're going into my Shaquille O'Neal PC. That's the show dates. Hit me up. My email's in the description, in the uh, about tab, uh, if you want more information about the Colorado Springs shows. So I spent 90 bucks. That's 50 of it, which means this whole stack was 40 bucks. Okay. Less than the price of two blasters because you get charged tax on blasters. Uh, you know, probably getting into some cheap break online or on, on eBay or YouTube. You see guys breaking 40 bucks would be a pretty cheap break. And let's face it. You'll probably get a bunch of commons. Not here. You get to cherry pick the cards you like. And again, this is the dollar box. I'm not huge on game use jersey cards, but I do collect them uh, of Todd Helton during his playing days. So here's a nice one, upper deck with a stripe. Authentic game used, you know, not, not player worn or anything. Next in the dollar stack, there's a piece of his bat with Colorado Rockies symbol uh, emblazoned upon it there. A great Todd Helton card from back in the day, Upper Deck, and these are real game used. We'll get through these Heltons here in a minute, but the guy had a lot, so I grabbed them all. It's an old Fleer, Game Time Lumber, authentic game used bat. Beautiful, as authentic as it gets. Lovely Todd Helton card. Stay tuned for the end cards. 
It makes the whole stack worth it. There's a game-worn jersey. Diamond Cuts, again, by Fleer. 2001. They made a lot of relic cards in 2001, man. Behind the Numbers, EX, another Todd Helton. Playing Days, No Goatee. Patch, for a dollar. There's another bat piece, Lumberjacks, Todd Helton. Authentic game-used bat. Originally had it for $10. That seems about right. Buck will do it. Got the burpees drinking the Red Baron. It's the Oktoberfest by Bristol Brewery. Shout out Bristol Brewery. Uh, here we go. Uh, just a napkin patch, just a tampon patch here of uh, Todd Helton. Tailor made. Cool looking again. 2001. What is that? And the last Todd Helton relic I picked up for a dollar. That's got a stripe on it. We'll call it two colors. And again, 2001 Fleer, man, a lot of relic cards in 2001 Fleer. So nice little chunk of uh, Todd Helton relic cards for the PC. Let's see what else I picked up in the dollar bin. A couple of these last ones are not dollar, but you see the uh, my, my buddy, you saw him on my video, uh, cut me a great deal. So Dwight Gooden rookie card. This ain't a flashback, this ain't a, uh, an archives or a reprint. That's a real Dwight Gooden rookie card for a buck. Noise. Craig Biggio, his best rookie card for a buck. That's his 88 score rookie traded. I believe this is the best card in the set, right? There's a Roberto Alomar, there's a, there's a Mark Grace. Uh, who am I forgetting? But I think Biggio is the best card in the set. That's a dollar all day. Ken Griffey Jr., second year. That's his 90 leaf. Great card at a buck. This is a cool, it, it still fits into my Colorado Rockies PC, but here's a card of Larry Walker, Stadium Club, when he was with the Montreal Expos, but it's that first day production. Got that first day production mark on it. So very cool. I'll pay a dollar for that card, no problem. That'll work its way into the Rockies PC, even though he's on the Expos. But great Larry Walker card. Then here's a card I always tried to get out of Stadium Club backs. This was like 94 or 95, I think. I'm not sure. I think 94. But you get these super team cards. And a bunch of info here. I'm not into reading, so uh, is what it is. But it, it's Mike Piazza. What is that, a third-year Piazza? Something like that. But it's the Los Angeles Dodgers super team card. That, that would work out this year because they made it to the World Series. So there you go. That goes into the Piazza collection or just weird 90s insert collection. This card was a buck. And I remember back in the day, this would be a $20 card. These were the hard-to-find team pinnacle inserts from Pinnacle. I think this is 93. You got Fred McGriff on the back and Frank Thomas. Beautiful Frank Thomas card. Got to pick that up for a buck. Talk about beautiful Frank Thomas cards from the 90s. Look at that. That's his finest all-star. That's from 1993, Top's Finest, the first year they ever did it. That's the all-star, the green, Frank Thomas. You want a buck for that card? I'm your man, no problem. Uh, then just, uh, I, I PC Cal Ripken. I like Ripken, and this is a card I've never had, never seen of his. Uh, 95 sports flicks in motion. It looks like a broken picture or like a window you threw a baseball through and it breaks through just cool looking the camera isn't doing it justice but when i see a cool cal ripkin sports flicks card from the 90s i've never seen that's a buck all day and do that pat burl or pat burrell as uh, nobody calls him uh bowman chrome rookie card all right all right we'll do a burl a burrell for a dollar, that's a good card. That's a rookie card. But then I got this. This is his refractor, and I think that's a rookie too. Yeah, rookie of the year contenders. Pat Burrell, rookie of the year contenders, Bowman Chrome refractor. I don't know what this card is worth, but it's a buck. I'm sure worth a buck to me. All right, what we got next? Oh, Albert Pujols. Not a, not, not, not a Pujols PC guy. You know, I, I like the guy. I respect the guy, but it's just a lot of red. That's a red refractor, prism red, in his red Angels uniform, all red, feeling Tucker Barnhart. But uh, that was cool. It just seemed like a good deal for a buck, so I bought it. I'm a Bernie Williams super collector. Maybe Victor Negron can tell me what this is. It looks like a 1997 Fleer Ultra Top Gold. I'm not sure. It's die cut. It's... Uh, 
a Bernie I did not have in the PC. So for a buck, I'm going to take it. But a uh, cool looking insert, cool 90s die cut insert. Had to go for it. Then back to that Rockies PC, but the guy's not in his Rockies uniform. There's a Larry Walker, old school Bowman uh, refractor here. Is that a blue refractor? Number two out of 150. So the shine on this card just kind of spoke to me from a mile away. Had to rescue that from the dollar bin because, you know, number two out of 150? Come on. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer refractor. I'd do it. Next, <laughs> had to pick this card up immediately. Saw this card in the dollar bin and like immediately threw it into my pile before anyone else could. <laughs> As a Joe Kelly Tops Update rookie. Famous meme this year for doing the frowny face at the Astros. Wonderful, wonderful card. Needed it in the collection. And I've often pick up gold rookies I've heard of for a buck just to grab them. Here's Brian Dozier. Same year, but the gold rookie card. I'll take that. Numbered out of 2012. Or as some people say, 2012. Whatever. Xander Bogarts. Just threw this in there. Why? It's the Bowman Chrome. First Bowman rookie of uh, Xander Bogarts. Had to throw that in there. Again, Dalla. Uh, Garrett Cole, rookie card from a Bowman Platinum, numbered out of 399. Ace of the New York Yankees, lovely Garrett Cole rookie card, numbered, and it's got some shine. I'll take that for a buck. This one is not the refractor, but it's still a Nolan Arnato rookie card. It's still a Bowman Platinum prospect card of Nolan Arnato from 2012. So back in the day, but beautiful. Arnado rookies for a buck in Colorado? Are you sick? Might have gone in that hot tub or something. Oh, back on Nolan here. Love this. this is the stained glass insert from Optic. I saw someone pull this in a pack on uh, YouTube and uh, loved the stained glass look. Knew I had to pick up some card, at least in the stained glass. So why not a guy IPC, Nolan Arnato, beautiful stained glass shine. And I dug it. Last card on the Nolan shine here is a beautiful red wave optic refractor. Great looking card. Pops the hell off the thing here. So I think I got $40 in top loaders just here. What are you talking about? Beautiful Nolan Arnato card. Really, really great card. Number 200. Lots of shine going on. And that'll fit perfectly into my Rockies shine box. Well, sneer. Fernando Tatis Jr. Prism. Scorching. Das a buck. Uh, Matt Cronin. I don't know why I picked this up. Just because I've, I've heard his name and it's numbered out of 25. So I'd, I'd take the chance on that. Numbered out of 25. Elite Extra Edition. We'll see this video years from now and see if that was a good buy or not. Wander Franco for a buck. Do it. Bowman Platinum. Platinum prospect card. Anthony Volpe. Hey, yo, Anthony Volpe. What are you doing on the Yankees? I did not have this card. I don't know if it's worth a buck or not. Well, probably. But uh, needed a Volpe in the uh, Yankees collection until I get an autograph of his. So this will do. Great first Bowman there. Then I saw this. This card had been in the dollar bin for months, and I just never picked it up. It's from the ass ugliest uh, autograph set you've ever seen in your life. Uh, SP autograph. I think this was right after uh, Upper Deck lost the Major League Baseball license. So they just had a bunch of freaking autographed stickers laying around, and they put them on these terrible, terrible looking cards. But, you know, it was about a week and a half ago. The Yankees were still in the playoffs. J.A. Happ was actually pitching. So why not? A autograph of a current Yankees pitcher that I did not have for a buck? I'll take that. Next. This guy's just a kid, but it's a Fleer Ultra all-rookie insert of Jason Kidd. Man, love this card. I remember this card back in the day being like an 8 or $10 card. The guy went and had a Hall of Fame career, and now it's a dollar card. So that's overproduction era for you. That's junk wax, but love this card. Would spend a dollar for it any day. Now we're going into cards that are a little over a buck. Keep in mind, this whole stack was still 40 Got a Chris Bryant photo variation. It's not the one of his big old face. This is a, what, 2015 Tops 
Series 2, not update. It's regular Series 2 rookie card. Nice shot of Chris Bryant. I prefer this one. I figure for five bucks, why not? Then for all my MMA and UFC fans out there, found some great deals. Look at this, an autographed TJ Dillashaw numbered at a 125 for $2. One of the greats of all time in his weight class. Dude is freaking awesome. So getting a TJ Dillashaw, which I don't think I have his autograph. I, I, I'll check. But pretty sure I'm adding this TJ Dillashaw to my autograph collection for just two bucks. That'll do. And then Dustin Poirier. I do have a Dustin Poirier autograph, but the man is a stud. He's incredible. Love watching him fight. So an autograph of his for less than the price of any pack of UFC cards at all, I'll take that. That's a great deal. Getting a hit for less than the cost of a pack, I'll take it. All right, here's your big hitters right here. Again, I thought this was the deal of the day. Again, gold rookie cards. Zach Gallon, gold foil rookie, numbered out of 2020. Matter of fact, that's cool. It's numbered 600 out of 2020. That's cool. Only three numbers make up the uh, code there. Very cool. 0600-2020. Anyway, that's cool. That's a gold card. That's $2. Zach Gallen. Loved that card. Picked it up immediately. But again, remember the time frame I'm talking about. When this show went on, the Yankees were playing the Rays. So these last two cards... I got the hot player at the time, Randy Arozarena. Rookie card, white wave, beautiful, shiny, popping off the damn card. Beautiful Panini Prism, baseball, pajama card. Call it what you want. They did a real good job of hiding the fact that there's no logos on there. And it's not like his other cards. I don't like his rookie cards where he's with the Cardinals. I don't like it. You want to see him with the Rays. So uh, really like that card. Picked it up for a dollar. Okay, that is now the deal of the show. But hold on. Haven't seen the last card. And here we go. Panini Prism Auto Rookie Card of Randy Orozarena. Uh, even he's got number 56 there for the Rays and he autographed it number 66, which was the number he had for the Cardinals. So prism rookie card of a guy who had just had a hot game or two, but dealer didn't pull it from his uh, box there. Great card, beautiful card. The, the, the highlight of my pickups here. So again, for 90 bucks, I got everything you see here. I mean, this whole stack was 40 and to tell you i could turn around sell this card right now and make back all the money i spent on all these so what am i trying to say don't always be in a rush to jump into the hottest breaks or even you know people selling non-hot breaks and, and crappy breaks and 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 and, and blasters at, at retail they're fun to open but if you see again for the price of two blasters I got all of these damn cards. Again, sell this, and these were all free. Sell that, and that's free. So deals are to be had at the card shows, everybody. Go out there, support your local card shows. If you don't have card shows nearby you, I feel sorry for you because you got to swim with the sharks on eBay and at LCSs and things like that. If you do have card shows, support them. You'll be glad you did. Had an incredible time. Hit me up if you want more info on these. And remember, as always, it... go raise.